Well, hello everyone. It has been a minute since I've done an update on my cacti and succulents. So I thought I would do sort of a quick one uh, and maybe an explanation of why I haven't been doing a whole lot of these lately. Uh, if you have watched some of my older videos, you've seen in them that I've had some health issues in the past and I've been battling anxiety off and on and I went through a time where I just I couldn't bring myself to do anything with these and I couldn't make videos about them and I couldn't make videos explaining why I couldn't make videos um, I was having some some pretty serious problems I feel like now I have that under control I'm on meds to help with that anxiety and I feel like I'm getting back to normal. Health wise, I'm doing better. Um, I'm getting ready to come off some medicines that I've been on post heart attack and I think things are looking better. So in the course of struggling with this anxiety, I lost a bunch of plants. Um, it's kind of sad, but I have sort of a mini graveyard. You can't really see down here. Uh, down here on the bottom shelf are some pots that have some dead plants in there. Uh, I lost my split rocks. I lost an echeveria, um, one of the ones that I really loved. Um, and I lost a couple of others. Um, but I just said there was nothing I could do. I couldn't bring myself to take care of them and Unfortunately, they were the ones that suffered um, While a lot of these other ones did pretty well um, It says a lot for what they can and cannot tolerate. That's for sure. So anyway enough about me. Let me do a Update on some of these plants and let you know how they're doing. So these are oops, gonna focus on my finger. Of course these are the donkey ears. You may have seen that video where I repotted them. So I can get up closer here for you. These have done really well. Like I'm so jazzed that these are doing so well. These are probably three of the best donkey ears propagations that I've done. They want to twist themselves towards the light. So I have them turn. They're kind of facing like the lights right up here. And they're facing this way, bent over away from the light. Um, and then about every, I don't know, two weeks or so, I have to turn them because they want to bend back towards the light. They're doing so well. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I would like to get them big enough to get them into bigger pots and maybe do more propagation off of these and just keep that line going. That'd be awesome. Uh, back here behind them right here is... An aloe, uh, it is a mini bell, and that's kind of hot, isn't it? Let me turn this down a little bit. Let me turn this down. A mini bell right here in the center, right there. Uh, the aloe, it's doing pretty well. Next to it, I need a pointer. Where is a pointer? Here. Let me use this. Let me use this as a pointer. So right here is the mini bell aloe. Doing pretty well. It's kind of stretching out a little bit. And it wants to bend to and away from the light, depending on how I turn it. Next to that is the Apuntia right here. Is the Apuntia Collins. Consolia Falcata. I'm way out of practice on these names. Let's see if I can turn this down even more. It is just coming in hot. There we go. So that one right here, the Caribbean Apunta, Apuntia is doing pretty well. And then next to it, right here in the back is an aloe. 
It is a, what do they call that? It was a red aloe. I can't remember the name. Uh, let me see. It might be on the pot. Let's see if I can get in here. And yes, it's the aloe oik. O-I-K is how it's spelled. Um, it is doing really well. Getting a little bit tall, but I think that's kind of what it does. Um, and I have another one on the next shelf right here that's doing very well. We'll come back up to the top. So next to it is another aloe. Um, it is a... Um, gosh, I have them turned funny. Let me see if I can turn it here. See what it's called. It is a Walmsley, bleh, Walmsley's Blue right here. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Right here is a Wal Walmsley's Blue. Um, it's doing pretty well. It's getting kind of tall and lengthy. And I am pretty happy with the way it looks, though. All in all, it looks pretty good. This right here is a... Um, dragon fruit. It's kind of the remainder of all the pieces that I've had. I tried to grow. Um, outside didn't do too well. I couldn't seem to find a good spot to get them to grow. And that's about what I have left. Um, so that's kind of a flop, I think, for me. Um, coming up right here. Let me turn this around. And get a little bit sharper edge here. Right here is another Apuntia. Uh, it is the um, cylindricata, cylindrica, sorry, Apuntia cylindrica. That was given to me by one of the people that subscribed to my channel. This is an Apuntia here. Um, this was from a coworker from a, I guess, not a native Apuntia to Arkansas, but sort of a, a transplanted one from somewhere in their yard doing very well. These are still doing well. I did a video on this transplant a long, long, long time ago. Um, still alive. Still producing some offshoots here. Um, doing well. Next to it is a Echinocereus, uh, the rainbow right here. Um, and, nope, sorry, the hedgehog cactus right here. Doing very well. Uh, next to that is a Pearl von Nuremberg. <laughs> Very long, very stretched out. Um, probably needs a brighter light to be indoors, but still growing, still looks a little bit healthy, you know, despite it being a giant amongst all the other ones. Uh, right here is a aloe that was given to me by somebody that I met in a garden center, and we got to talking, and she actually mailed these to me, went, mailed this and some other ones to me. Doing well. This is, I think this was called the little jelly bean succulent. Um, hanging in there. You know, it's a little bit tall and stretchy. Probably could use a brighter light, uh, but doing pretty well. Here is some tiny, tiny babies. These are, I think, Pearl von Nuremberg, if I remember. Uh, they just have never gotten very big. So they're, they're just the little mini-me Pearl Vons. Um, Apuntia here, angel's wings, throwing off a lot of babies. You can see here, and they're stretching out towards the light. Um, but gosh, these are doing really well. They really like, you know, being here under this light in this warm room. Uh, Apuntia cylindrica right here. Uh, this is, I probably should have taken this down. This was a, um, what was that? I think it was a split rock. Um, I don't think this label was correct, but there was one of the, uh, oh, one of the things that just didn't make it during my anxiety days. Sorry, little plant. This right here is a, um, is it, what's it called? The rainbow, rainbow bursts right here. It is a Echinobivia. Um, it's a hybrid, and it's got, let's see if I can tip it down without sticking my finger. These things are sharp. It's got a bunch of babies coming out of here. Some here, ow, ow, some on the backside, ow. 
uh, doing well, propagating itself uh, despite me neglecting it, doing really well. Uh, this one here and this one here are babies from the mother down on the next shelf, uh, Euphorbia anopelia, which is right here. And you can't see, I can't get in close enough to see, but if you maybe can squint right here on the top are some teeny tiny little cute yellow flowers. So it's flowering and coming back up to the shelf above are the little babies from that right there. This was one that was sent to me from that lady I met in the garden center. I have no idea what it is. Doing well, tall, leggy, but you know, still doing pretty good. This right here is a kind of Bivia rainbow burst. This was sent to me by one of the people that watched my channel. Uh, another Apuntia, uh, the angel's wing right here, and up on top, I really don't know what this is. I know it is an Apuntia, and for the life of me, I can't remember where I got it. I think somebody might have given it to me. I can't remember, but it's doing very well. And then this poor thing is, right here is what's left of the... Uh, Echeveria that struggled with some weird thing that it had. Um, it's not dead, but sure looks like it's very close to being dead. And that little growth here on top, right here, is about all that's left. Sorry, little plant. And here's some more donkey ears that were in front that I just now saw as I came around the corner. Doing well. Kind of tiny, but still doing well. So that's the first shelf here. Coming down to the second is... It's very dark, um, but it's the Euphorbia milii. I did the video on it a long time ago. It lived outside for the longest time, and then when we moved, uh, it didn't like where we were. It's a faded area that my plants can be outside in, and it didn't do very well, so I had to bring it inside. Um, and it went through a dying phase when I was having my anxiety. Uh, so I had to kind of just figure out what it wanted and for now I have it stuck under this little clip-on light um, And I turn it every once in a while to give it, you know, light to different parts of the plant And it's doing very well. It's come back. Um, it dropped a whole bunch of leaves like it looked like just bare prickly sticks um, But coming back. Sorry plant more Apuntia angels wings. That's the red oaky uh, aloe like the one up on the upper shelf back here in the back is a barrel cactus um, the golden barrel uh, never took it out of its pot that I got it in from the store doing really well like it's a little bit leaning um, but gosh I'm surprised how well that one's done this is a boy I'm gonna butcher this name for sure uh, let's just call it a star cactus right here um, it is an, oh, it's an Astrophytium, um, the star cactus. And then back here is another aloe. Um, let's see if I can see what this one's called. It is a, uh, the blue elf. This one's doing really well. Very tall, uh, very big, growing out. It's got some babies coming out that I need to kind of propagate. Back here in the back, right here is flowering is a mammillaria um, it's very let me see if i can come around here it's very bendy if you can see that right back here it's really tweaking out bent towards the light definitely needs to have stronger light or be outside um, but unfortunately where i live it cannot live outside um, and but i mean it's flowering it flowers every winter doing well. Um, here, kind of tucked behind everything, is a, uh, what's it, Osteocephalocereus. I'm probably butchering that right here, doing very well. Another Apuntia cylindrica. These are two that were sent to me from the lady I met in the garden center. 
I don't know what they are, um, but they're doing really well. They've always done quite well. This is the old man of the Andes. He's having a problem. I can't quite figure out what to do. Um, more water, less water, more shade, more light. Um, let me come around here. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. It's got here towards the bottom, right down here, kind of a brown. Looks like it's dying. And it just has not been looking good for a long time. I probably need to be brave and go up here and cut this off and see if I can propagate it. But even the top, I don't know if you can see that, but the top looks kind of yellowy. And I just unfortunately don't think it's going to live much longer. Behind it, let me see if I can show you. Uh, that's probably the best view I can get. Behind it, right, sorry about that, right here is a mammalaria. Um, doing well. It's got one <laughs> leaning right here off over into another plant. Um, tends, they, I think mammalaria is, at least you know, the way I have them, stretch out. And they don't do so well under the light. Um, but, you know, it looks fairly good. This is a Kalanchoe. It has been a victim of my troubles and not doing very well. Um, it's kind of skinny and scrawny looking. <clears throat> I did propagate one here. It's kind of in the shadow, sorry. I did propagate a little baby here. It's just, I don't know, it's not doing all that well. Behind it is a um, sense of area, sort of off in the shadows. You can't really see very well, but it's got a baby coming up right in here. It's doing well. It doesn't like to be under direct light, so I have it and another one off in the shadows, and it does pretty well. So that's the second shelf. Oh, sorry, and then here is a Creeping Charlie, kind of going all over the place. Uh, it's doing okay. I think it needs a bigger pot and probably a little bit better area. Um, and it was a victim of, you know, my troubles too. <clears throat> Coming down here on the bottom, sh or the uh, third shelf, um, right over here, let's see if I can get over here. Right over here is a, an unknown. It was in the group of plants the lady sent me from the garden center. And then uh, right here is a uh, old lady cactus right here, doing pretty well. In the front here is a Silver Arrows, and it's actually got some blooms on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It's got some pretty little pale yellow blooms, and they're super cute. That one's doing really well. Here are some kind of unknown little succulents. I'm not quite sure what those are. And then are some baby Haworthias here and here from the mother that's kind of shaded right here. Uh, she's got some more kind of coming off her. Over here is the spider plant kind of trying to get itself over to the light. And then behind it is another unknown right here where my finger is. Not sure what that is. That was in the bundle sent to me. Um, and then we've got some really stretched out um, Echeverias and a stretched out right here Jade and an unknown here. These are Jade babies. So let me show you. Eh. They have really never grown very big. I took these. I took these off the mom a long, long time ago, and that's as big as they've ever gotten. Um, an orc's ear right here and back in there let's find a focus for you back in there is an unknown <clears throat> and then some other little unknowns right here right in here um, 
and the back more unknowns and Pearl von Nuremberg right there that is a super old baby that just has never gotten very big um, and then some more over here that have kind of stretched out and also been victims of me sorry plants and here sort of in the <clears throat> kind of the shade of that clip on light is move these back it's a San Silveria I don't know if you can see that but it's doing really well it loves this area right here and another spider plant that it actually is doing pretty well um, very tall and very bushy but it wants to lean over I think it's trying to go towards the light um, but I can kind of spread it out like that and it does well and then an agave that was a victim to me being just too too busy um, I left it out on the deck and it got frost damage and killed a lot of it back and it's a little bit deformed and I don't know it's not doing bad um, it just doesn't look as pretty as it did uh, I think when the weather turns I can get it back outside and maybe um, you know give it a summer to recoup and do better and this I don't think I ever showed you this is a uh, what's it called a bottle palm I think it's called uh, I don't know if it's an elephant foot palm it's got the cool base down here ponytail palm that's what it's called sorry about that ponytail palm and if I stand up here maybe you can see it a little bit better um, it seems to like it here again under the semi light slash shade of this clip on light it's doing really well it likes it um, and so if I kind of step back here I can give you an overview of all the plants a lot of the originals from way back in the day these are still the light fixtures I had from back in the day and all in all they're doing fairly well you know there was some some tragedies uh, had some losses but we've had some you know propagation success so that's a good thing so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did click that thumbs up for me if you haven't, consider subscribing to see more videos. And until the next time, thanks for watching.